we've come to our final category, which is the special award. It's a topical award that's given for work in animal welfare in one of the year's trouble spots. Here to present it is someone who's used to dealing with the stories behind the headlines. It's Crime Watch presenter and newsreader Fiona Bruce. I've often read out news reports on the events in Zimbabwe where farmers are being driven from their land and the farm workers are left destitute. What we don't tell you about on the news is the plight of some of the animals left behind on those farms. Two people who are at the forefront of the battle to help them are the winners of this year's special award. I must warn you that in order to show their work, the film includes some images which you might find upsetting and rather shocking. Chief Inspector Merrill Harrison and Trainee Inspector Admore Chinembi work for the Zimbabwean Society for the Prevention of Cruelty to Animals, rescuing animals that have been caught up in the violence. About two years ago, I saw some footage on TV of a dog being bludgeoned almost to death, and I was absolutely horrified at the treatment meted out to him, and I felt the SPCA must have a role to play somewhere in these farm invasions. Merrill and Admore work as a team. He's absolutely fantastic about him. He goes in where angels would fear to tread. Today, Merrill and Admore are going to negotiate with the so-called war veterans for the release of several pets that one family had to abandon when they fled their farm in the middle of the night. While the family wait nearby, Merrill and Admore set off to the farm alone. We have to stick strictly to our job and the minute the farmer comes with us it starts to look as if we're a sort of unit and it's just too confrontational. Okay, okay move dog. After Great. a tense hour and a half, Merrill and Admore return. They'd managed to get all of the pets. They were hungry and thirsty but otherwise unharmed. It makes me cry when I see people reunited with their dogs. It's not just pets that have been affected. During the eviction, some of the farm animals have been horrifically injured. We've seen many cases of mutilation um, on cattle especially. Cattle with axes in their backs, calves that have been just bludgeoned to death and thrown on compost heaps. The litany of abuse goes on and on. I feel sickened and horrified and saddened when we arrive at the, the farms and see these scenes. The animals have no place in the, the politics and they're the silent victims of the tragedy that's going on in Zimbabwe now. Sometimes I do feel frightened to go into the farms, but we can turn back. We have to go in and help those animals. I will continue doing this work. There's nothing to stop me helping the animals. Yes. Not all Merrill and Admore's calls are straightforward. Recently, they were contacted by a farmer who'd been forced to abandon 250 pigs. Merrill and Admore had set off with some trucks to try and help. When we got there, it was a horrific scene. There were dead piglets all over the place. Once we were inside the farm, they locked the gates and the trucks, unbeknown to us, were being turned away. We were waiting for the trucks to appear at the gate and then the drumming started. And when the drumming starts, you, you need to, to be worried because it's done purposely to get everybody into a frenzy. And eventually at half past two, they allowed the first truck in. They eventually managed to remove two truckloads of pigs. Since the evictions began two years ago, Merrill has dealt with thousands of animals. That's it. Nandy is a very special little dog and very dear to my heart. And her story is a remarkable story of canine courage. Like so many other animals, Nandy had been abandoned as her family had to flee their home in the middle of the night. We were not called in until about a week later. I went into the house and I was walking across the, the glass and the rubble and I walked down the passage and something made me turn to the right and then to the right again. And there was Nandy lying in the shower what was left of the shower had been 
just ripped apart. She was lying in the corner with her eyes on the back of her head, absolutely terrified. I just started weeping. It was just one of the saddest scenes I'd ever seen. And as I picked her up, she yelped. And we got her to a veterinarian who said there wasn't an inch of her body that hadn't been beaten. Nandi has now completely recovered and has been reunited with her owners. But for Merrill, the work goes on. Sometimes I get up in the morning and I know we've got a farm to do and I sit in the end of bed and I think, I can't face one more farm. It's so depressing walking around empty farms, people's whole lives on the floor, trash smashed, but we're here until it's finished. Unfortunately, Admore can't be here with us tonight, but I'm delighted to say that Meryl has flown over from Zimbabwe to be here. Please welcome one of the winners of our special award, Meryl Harrison. Well, um, I'm very touched, I'm very humbled, I'm very honoured to receive this award. I'd also like to accept it on behalf of Admore. I would also like to dedicate this to all the animals in Zimbabwe who've died, who've been starved, who've been bludgeoned, who've been burnt, who've been axed. You name it, they've had it. And this utter chaos that's going on in the name of land reform in Zimbabwe. Thank you. Thank you for an incredible job that you and Admore do. And thank you to everyone who has taken part tonight, our award presenters, the winners and finalists. Please keep up your incredible work. You make the world a better place for animals and us to live in. Thanks also to More Than, sponsors of tonight's event. Have a very happy new year and I hope all your dreams come true. Good night. Good night.